I've come here today to the uh, to an RAF base, or is it an American base at Fairford in Gloucestershire, dressed as a Welsh weapons inspector to um, inspect what weapons of mass destruction they're planning to drop on Iraq. The press recently reported this is the most complex, largest, most expensive operation ever undertaken by Gloucestershire Constabulary. They reckon that it's going to cost the British taxpayer seven million pounds just to um, police this space and there's a thousand police here which seems rather over the top considering that this is a peaceful demonstration by ordinary people who um, are protesting against this imminent war against Iraq. You stand in here, please, sir. <laughs> Section 44, the terrorist attacks. I've just been stopped under the Prevention of Terrorism Act 2000 for some unknown reason to me. I'm not a terrorist. They're the terrorists over there. During the early hours of March the 20th, 2003, the B-52 bombers took off from Fairford for their five-hour flight to Iraq. In the words of the Pentagon, to shatter Iraq physically, emotionally and psychologically, a policy known as shock and awe. After another night of U.S. and British air assault on Baghdad, the city's Al Kindi teaching hospital received some 120 civilian patients. Ten were dead upon arrival. A patient said they have been attacked by cluster bombs. Among other ordnance dropped on Iraq, that's what they were dropping from Fairford: cluster bombs, which are actually released landmines. Their effects are indiscriminate. They don't routinely explode an impact, but can remain to exact a deadly toll for years to come, especially on children, who easily mistake the half-buried yellow cylinders for a toy or a ball. I don't think we'll ever make the world a secure place by spending billions of pounds on heinous weapon systems like cluster bombs. I've been thinking, if I was to give money to a terrorist organisation, then that would be construed as an act of terrorism. If 
I had paid money to a contract killer or an assassin. That in law would be an act of murder. When I pay my taxes to the armed forces, then I'm morally accountable for all of their activities and all of the results. It's being estimated that the war against Iraq is going to cost three, four, five, maybe six billion pounds. The Treasury is being pretty cagey about figures. And this is the same Treasury, incidentally, that spends every year 20 times more on military expenditure than it spends on the environment and spends 10 times more every year on the military than it does on international development. They say they want to make poverty history or fight global warming. Well, I just don't get it, really. The war's been going on for three weeks now, and it's not looking good. There's been reports of terrible civilian casualties. 